talking about window treatments, all things window treatments. So fabrics, pelmets, blinds, pattern repeats and safety for children's bedrooms and playrooms. And we have the wonderful Maya from Tic Tac Interiors and she will be um, guiding us through. First of all, Maya made this amazing um, Roman blind. I love Roman blinds. I love the folds that um, it gives and it's quite neat and it doesn't interrupt the rest of the room. It actually does what it's supposed to do and it's to beautify and cover the window. And she's chosen this amazing fabric. I'm not sure if she chose the pom-poms first or the fabrics, but the pom-poms were from us. The fabric is just, it's so beautiful. And she's, the pom-poms actually complements the colors and within the fabric and also the trim. She's got this lovely purple velvet trim. And we've also got elements of purple within the fabric. So when choosing fabrics and trims, it's good to choose something that complements or contrasts, contrasts that are really good as well, the, the fabrics that we've chosen. And Maya has done an amazing job in doing this. And I will hand over to Maya. Thank you very much, Medina. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. As you can see in here, um, as Medina beautifully explained, we've got an example of a Roman blind. So as you can um, see as well, like a Roman blind doesn't have to be very plain. You can use a very bold pattern. You can use a very bold color fabric. You can decorate it with a pelmet and you can have a special trim. You don't necessarily need to go for individual pom-poms. You can use very different things as a trim. Like for example, I've got an example of pom-poms which are joined together and it will always just add something a little bit extra. I think what's very important while choosing a fabric for a Roman blind is actually measuring your window first. Simply because, let's just say, if your window is 160 centimeters wide and the repeat in the fabric is 140, this means that you actually need to have a 20 centimeter border in order to cover the full width of the window. So this is something that actually a lot of my clients are um, asking me about. Very often they are choosing a, a very beautiful fabric and then they are disappointed that they need to actually go for a border or they need to go for something a little bit different simply because this particular pattern wouldn't fit the full width of the window. Okay, so that means like the bigger the window, it's best to stick to safer fabrics with um, less patterns and more textures. I think it's just uh, pretty much all depends on the size of it and it also all depends on the, uh, on the repeat of the fabric. Let's just say if you've got a big window, I would suggest going for big repeats. So for example, like not like little individual monkeys, but let's just say one really big monkey oh. just jumping on the trees and then you can have two of them on the window. Okay. Okay. In terms of curtains, the um, pattern fabric looks really beautiful on curtains. However, it is the pattern is not going to be as visible as on the Roman blind. A Roman blind is pretty much a display of the pattern. However, while using the pattern fabric on curtains, it is going to be covered by like all the pleats and all the folds as well. So you might not see that clearly. However, it is still going to be very nice. Um, I think while working for MK Kids Interiors, a lot of parents are concerned about the blackout solution for children's bedrooms. That's true. Um, what we do here for Medina, um, we always complement the blinds with a blackout lining, which is matching the blind as much as possible. Yeah. So th this means that, for example, you don't have a situation when you've got a beautiful pattern fabric and you just have a simple white black, a white black or um, a white blackout lining which doesn't really complement the blind. Um, attention to detail. Yes, attention to detail, definitely. I think as well, if you are sh uh, shopping for a fabric for your curtains and blinds, I think it's really important as well to ask the supplier um, if the fabric could be used on something else in the interior, like complementary cushion or whether it could be used as upholstery, because unfortunately not all the upholstery fabrics could be used on curtains and blinds and the other way around. So I think it's really important to check it to avoid any kind of disappointment and also to um, make sure that the fabric that you are choosing can be lined with blackout. Um, and I think the last very important point is of course safety features in children's interiors. Um, Just before you move on there, um, when you say the fabrics that you choose can be lined with blackouts, what kind of fabrics can't be lined with blackouts? 
Um, there are specific um, types of fabric. Um, it all depends on the washing properties. Mm. That could only be dry cleaned, which means that they can only be lined with a demount fabric, which gives about 70 to 80 percent of coverage. Okay. Okay. So the blackout um, material that you provide is that usually washable or usually dry clean only? Um, so it is usually washable. So it means that you can um, wash it in water. And um, of course, if you are going for a company which, which is going to do curtains and blinds for you, please make sure that the type of lining that they choose is going to survive all the washes. So you don't have a situation that the front of the blind is washable and the back of the blind is dry clean only. Okay. Otherwise you wash the blind to your curtains once and they are not, no, not good for anything else after. Excellent. Okay, nice. Back to you. Perfect, so I think if you decide to install um, a Roman blind or a roller blind with a cord in children's interiors, please make sure that you don't install them close to pots, beds, play area or the area where you change nappies. And please make sure that you always use a child safety device for the cord. In here we've got a tensioner, basically you put a tensioner like this. And you need to make sure that the cord is almost 100% tense all the time, which means that nothing can get tangled in it. A lot of people tell me that they don't really like using it because it means that the Roman blind cannot be used as quickly with it. However, safety is the most important feature. Definitely, definitely. 100% agree. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.